So yeah, some days are gonna feel. But it's okay, I mean, it's life. I finally decided to slightly improve my audio. So anyways, some days you're gonna feel like, and it's okay, you can um, push through or you sometimes have to lay back and chill for a while. It's like, you're not gonna be at your best every day of your life. In opposition to what some people say, you're not gonna be high performing every day. It's just not possible. Anyways, so <laughs> you wanna um, work with photography and video. Awesome. You wanna work with photography and video, right? Here are some tips so you can possibly get into the market. Well, the path I took was well, I suppose the most common and like hardest path. Actually, I wouldn't say there is a, an easy path. So the path that I took was I started assisting in smaller jobs with photographers that wouldn't, weren't that known. Slowly, I progressed and started reaching out to other photographers and started, and started creating a name in the market as an assistant. And I did that for a while. And meanwhile, I was assisting photographers. I was creating my own body of work, which is one of the most important aspects. If you want to transition from assisting to um, being a photographer. And meanwhile, I was doing that. I was learning video so I could offer to those photographers I was working with my video services. So at some point I got okay with it and photographers started to hire me to shoot their projects as a videographer and in, in all of that my case i did that with fashion so regardless of the area i want to do there are different paths and and you gotta understand that shooting being a director and shooting videos for fashion photographers they are complete different universes. So, so you gotta understand there are paths of careers in that sense. And let's say you wanna shoot video professionally, getting to camera department, DP, director. So then the quickest path is you offer your services as a PA, production assistant to producers and and then you start going into sets and get better at it and start making your way through the career you're searching for well if you want to work with um, fashion photography you can reach out to photograph fashion photographers that are shooting in your area the ones that are most known in your area you can always google them you can always find their names on Instagram, you can then, as I sort of did, slide a DM on the, the photographer's um, Instagram and eventually if they see your message they are, they're gonna answer and they're gonna say, oh I need an assistant or I need a Digitech or whatever. And then from there you can start working in that environment. Um, which was what I did. There's an, yet another option, which is you can start shooting people around you, people that you know, and you start from the get-go as a photographer. So in that sense, you skip the whole part of um, having to assist, learning the craft from other photographers, and you start shooting people, and then when you're good enough, you start um, reaching out to brands and offering your services or even like just posting it online and you will get noticed from the brands around you or people in, in your vicinity and from there you start building a client list which is ultimately what you want to have to build more portfolio have more paying work and and just grow as a professional and there's yet another option 
which is going to the photography school and learning the craft there, well, then from there is sort of the same path. So you learn the craft on the school and then you're like going the steps in the profession and trying to find work and or learning from other photographers in the field until you get good enough. I mean, if you have a good mentor, like a good photographer, this photographer will know you at some point will get good enough to do, to do your own photography work and then this photographer will probably start recommending you to the clients that cannot afford his fees. I mean, ideally, in a utopic world. Nobody does that, but, um, I mean, I'm putting it out there. But usually what happens is um, a client that doesn't have the, the budget or a client that worked with the photographer before and don't want to spend the same amount of money will try to snatch you as an assistant and then you're gonna go and do your own work and probably have a fight with the photographer because that's what happens. And then, um, and then if you want to work with video productions, movies, advertising, whatever that is, start as a PA. That's like, that's probably the most common way to do it. It is kind of a pain in the ass because you're like grabbing coffee for people, cleaning the set, that kind of stuff. But eventually when you start learning more and asking questions and offering different jobs for the producer you will probably slide yourself into the camera department and from there you grow until you achieve or get to the position that you want to ultimately pursue or you can go to the school and learn whatever the craft you're looking to learn like um, let's say direction and start doing a lot of projects and maybe get into a festival and from there you start getting consistent clients and there you have it but if you want to transition from photography to direction that is kind of trickier so you gotta of course have a good client list but it's not it's not the same market, it's not the same thing. So at some point you have to start pitching uh, motion projects to the, um, to the clients that are hiring you for stills. And from there you create a portfolio as a director and then you can go after the, the direction clients. And yeah, the same old stuff. Give it a like, thumbs up, whatever. If you need anything, hit me up. Take care.